What if we give Mercury Anubius an upgrade? Mercury Anubius is the Beyblade of Yuki in the Beyblade Metal Fury 40 generation. Although it's released way earlier than that generation, I'm pretty sure nowadays everyone knows that it's Yuki's Beyblade. And what do they know of? It's weak. Because what? It has a really light blade. It comes with an 85 spin track, which is pretty cool. It comes with also the Extreme Flat. Nothing's really cool about this Beyblade except it's kind of rare to get because you can only get it in tournaments. They never really sell it on like any random booster parts or like as a whole Beyblade. So it was hard to get. It's not even a, like an NDS Beyblade. So today we're gonna give it an upgrade because we don't want Yuki to be the useless one in the whole Legendary Blader series. So let's give it an upgrade. So let's solve some major problem of Anubius. First, it's obviously a very light Beyblade. Second, it's supposed to be an attack type, but because it's so light, it often go off rail because of the Extreme Flat tip. Extreme Flat is definitely losing a lot in stamina. So there's either we boost the attack so it's strong enough to KO people, or we boost the stamina. And I'm sure a lot of people on YouTube that does like Mercury and Nubius Evolution give it like Metal Flat or like Rubber Flat. So it's like there's more stamina, but I feel like that's really boring because stamina is never a concern for this Beyblade already because it's not supposed to be good at stamina. It's supposed to be good at attack with that really strong recoil blade design here. So today I'm gonna give it an upgrade so it's really strong at attacking and also add some weight to it. First up, I'm gonna give it a metal face bolt. This is a metal face too. I can obviously do a full face bolt, but I think a little bit weight off can help with attacking and speed. For the energy ring, I'm gonna keep it because it's a new beast. For the blade, I'm also gonna keep Mercury because there's not any more 4D blade and a lot of 4D Bay blade actually features like a blade changing mechanism like Big Bang Pegasus, uh, Bang Leon, Phantom Orion, you can flip the blade. Death Casacato, you can flip the blade. Scythe Kronos doesn't have it, but it has a free spinning blade on the outside. Uh, Varied Ares has like the sword and shield mode. So a lot of blade actually has like the 4D like changing gimmick. So I'm not gonna do it on the blade because this really is a Nubius blade. So I'll do it on a spin track. For the spin track, I use SA165. You'll be like, whoa, that's a lot of extra height added to an 85. You almost added like twice the height. Yes, and uh, there's for a very cool reason because of the spin track, because of the tip. So I'll tell you guys later. But uh, SA165 definitely has the uh, mode changing from like, I don't know what exactly this is called, but like a boosted disc mode, I suppose, and then a tapered skirt mode. This really reminds me of the tapered disc from uh, the Beyblade Burst series. But yeah, this would be good for a reason. So let's go to the final tip. Finally, I'm gonna use this Giga Flat from Bahamut from the Zero G generation. It's actually a way wider flat and people would be like, whoa, that's crazy. How would you upgrade its performance? It's going to be really strong at attacking, but it has zero stamina, even negative stamina. But yes, but if you think about it, if I have this Giga Flat combined with the SC165, when it goes really hard, it's going to scrape the stadium and like do like a directional change attack, right? Um, and it's proven useful, so <laughs> I'll show you guys. It's not just a crazy idea. I actually tested out before making this combo. So yeah, here is my attempt of an upgrading Mercury and Nubius with the 40 series because we can upgrade the blade. I mean, the only 40 blade that was not really used in the anime is uh, the, the Pegasus one, the red Pegasus one. I think it's called Wing. Uh, but aside from that, there's not much. So I was thinking, huh, if I can't do a mode changing blade, I'll do a mode changing spin track and Giga Flat. Yo, this is the Giga Chat on Nubius. Let's go, guys. So let's see how it performs in real life in a stadium. How about that? All right, so here is the new 40 upgraded Anubius. Let's do some battle with it. Like Fang Leon, Phantom Orion, Scythe Chronos, and Fairy Ares. So let's do Fang Leon first. 3, 2, 1, go shoot! Whoa! Look at that attack. It's definitely an attack upgrade. 3, 2, 1, go shoot! 
Yeah, with the SA165 and also the GF, it definitely have like this scraping feature that do a, like a very directional attack. So that's cool. Second round, we got Scythe Chronos. Scythe Chronos is actually way heavier, but uh, it didn't go too well in the beginning. They both keep flying away from the stadium because of the flat tip. Uh, EDS is actually played it flattened out. But now it just turns into like a stamina battle because Scythe Chronos actually zooms around with that worn EDS tip. So in a stamina battle perspective, there's no way we can win against Scythe Chronos. But it's still doing pretty alright, I guess. Let's do one more round. 3 to one go shoot. I was gonna try scrape attack and almost got Scythe Chronos, but Scythe Chronos, luckily with that big and round wheel, it definitely tanked it a little bit. So the stamina battle happens again and so I said at his sound, it sounds like Anubius is not gonna pass this test on Scythe Chronos this time. But it's still very cool, it almost got Scythe Chronos. Now they're just zooming around, stamina battle. Scythe Chronos likes free spinning plastic plate, it's definitely good at defense. Next up I got Fairy Ares, it's on the ball tip mode right now, let's see how it does. Fairy Ares is definitely a high recoil plate. And it's way more heavier, but ooh, Anubius got the first win. Let's do it again. 3, 2, 1, go shoot. Yeah, I feel like the GF is definitely really cool. Oh, it just zoomed away. Uh, let's just shoot it back in and <laughs> see how it goes. Ooh. Yeah, although with the really light blade, this Anubius upgrade definitely is adding some attack. Look at that. Easy peasy. Next up, we got Phantom Orion. I think we all know how the result will go, so let's see how it goes go. Hopefully in real life, it sounds better than theoretical idea. But yep, the Phantom Orion blade is very round and heavy, so it's definitely tanking a lot of the attack with the bearing drive already. So first win goes to Phantom Orion, let's do one more round. 3, 2, 1, go shoot! Ooh, yeah, we can see Anubius is doing those hard hits, but Phantom Orion is just tanking them, so there's nothing we can do about it. RIP to Anubius, but overall it's still doing pretty well against all these Beyblade. Let's just do one final round. 3, 2, 1, go shoot! Yeah, you see it's doing pretty decent hit. If this is not a Beyblade with bearing drive, even just like a different tip, maybe Phantom Orion would have lost. So I see this as most of a win already. I'm not trying to make the perfect tech Beyblade. But how do you guys think about this upgrade? Definitely let me know in the comment section below. And would you guys do it like this or just boost it in stamina? Let us know.